All right. Next up is Carissa. She's asking, what's the first thing you should focus on after landing an SEO client? Shit. I mean, good one. Getting your scope of work over to your team or, or, or implementing the scope of work yourself if you're slowed down. My personal opinion. Sounds good. Look, you probably get more questions than I will anyway, but uh, we'll go ahead and start off. Uh, Christina Hayes is asking, uh, for 10% customers, how do you guys track what they have coming in? Is it on an honor system after the tracking number, or do you ask for copies of their invoices or numbers? No, nah, I mean, you can run an honor system with them at first. You always want to kind of honor that side of somebody. You always want to work with stand-up people. So, you know, as long as you feel you stand up, you can definitely run on honor system. It, I, like here, here's what me and my wife say all the time. Cause guys, we, we're constantly doing this. It's called trust, but fucking verify. Okay. It's like, I'm going to trust the contractor and I'm going to say, oh, okay, that's great. But I'm also going to get in and I'm going to listen to some of those longer calls. I'm going to hear what they're having to say. I'm going to do all of that. And sometimes if we really feel like they're getting over on us, my wife will pick up the phone and call these guys and be like, Hey, I'm with blah, blah, blah construction. I was just seeing how the job went. And if they're like, we didn't use you, then she goes, okay, we're not getting ripped off. But if they're like, oh, the job went great. J Jeremy was awesome. And then we check our invoice and it's not even on there. Then we just fire his ass and move on. So trust, trust, but verify is kind of how we're doing those deals. All right. Next up is Carissa. She's asking, what's the first thing you should focus on after landing an SEO client? shit. I mean, good one. Getting your scope of work over to your team or, or, or implementing the scope of work yourself if you're slowed down. My personal opinion is sending that shit to Bam Shoppy. That's what I do. Hey, here's my scope of work. Bam Shoppy, get to work. Okay. This is how many pages I need. This is how much content I need. Get it off my back. Get it onto his so I can go back to the freaking drawing table and land another customer and another one and another one and another one. Just like Drake, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull a Drake on him. Another one, another one, another one. And I'm just going to make that in between money. So me personally, my first step is either one, you guys already have a team or you're working with somebody else inside BAM that's technical that can do that stuff or you have a VA or whatever it is, get that scope of work over to them so they can get to work. Your job is to focus on money-making activities, okay? And so get yourself back to the drawing board, shoot more screencasts, get more deals in, in and make that money and continue to outsource it to get it done. That's what I would personally do. Um, but if you're doing it yourself, if you're like, oh, I want to learn this myself, I want to do this myself, and you don't need that many sales, maybe you're happy in your day job, I don't know what it is. If that's you, then get in there and start implementing your scope of work, following the steps the same way that we teach you inside the course how to build lead gens, rank lead gens, do on-site SEO, off-site SEO, link build, etc. You need to take those steps. A really good place to start, guys, is to look inside this group under files and look up lead gen checklist, Okay. That's going to show you our process of how we build every site, whether it's a lead gen or a customer site in the order that we do it and what we're checking off. That's a really good place to start as well. But my personal opinion, once again, is get it off your back and let's get you back to where the money's at and let's get somebody else building that shit for you.